Hi, in this video I will show you a new option in Plasticity. It's the deform operation which allows for something like projecting a solid onto a surface. I will show you this with a simple text example. Here I have simple solid letters and we can project these solids onto various surfaces. I have some examples here and in this video I will show you how to do this. I will start a new project. Here I will begin by creating a cylinder with a diameter of 40 millimeters. So I press the tab key, type 40, hit enter. Now D70, enter, to define the height of this cylinder and I right click to confirm it. Now I switch to face selection, select this face. I press the F key on the keyboard and type unwrap face. I choose this operation and it unfolded the surface of the cylinder to a flat surface. Now I press the G key on the keyboard and move this surface a bit this way. And now I will create text. I press the F key, type the text and select this command. Here I change the font and maybe we will slightly increase the height of the letters. OK. Now I press the G key to move these letters onto this surface and we do this roughly like this. OK, and now based on these letters I will create solids so I have the face selection active here. I select the faces of these letters and now with the control key I deselect these two areas. I press D. 3. Enter. OK. And we have created the solids and we have created the surface. I will also hide the visibility of these geometries. I select all these geometries, click here and press the H key on the keyboard. Now, I switch to solid selection and I would like to project these solids onto this cylinder. Using the selection box I select all these solids. I press the F key on the keyboard and type def to select the deform command. I choose this command and now we need to choose the reference plane. It should be a neutral plane and for this purpose we need a flat surface and this surface will be the reference plane. We select this plane and now we select the plane onto which we will be projecting these solids. I select the plane of the cylinder and these solids have been projected this way. Here I will also check the Keep Tools option so that the source solids remain in place because if this option is not checked these solids will be deleted. I would like to show you a few more examples so I will leave these solids visible. And here we also have the option to scale these solids and the offset option. Here we have offsets and it works in such a way that we can move these solids. Here I moved by some value, I will return to the value 0, click the left mouse button beside it and the solids returned to their place. I would like to move it a bit up so we need to do this in the negative direction and let's do it for example to minus 0.05. I will change this value a bit so that this text is closer to the upper edge of the cylinder. OK, and we will leave it like that. I click OK and in this way we have projected these letters onto this cylinder. At this point these letters are convex. If we wanted the letters to be concave on this cylinder, we need to approach this a bit differently. Again, I select these solids, choose the deform command, select the neutral plane and select the plane of the cylinder. And now, to create concave letters based on these letters on this cylinder, we select the normal command and these letters will be inside the cylinder. However, now, if we leave these letters like this, I will click here on Keep Tools to keep the source solids. I click OK and now 
to make these letters concave on this cylinder, we simply need to subtract the solids of these letters from the cylinder. Therefore, I will add these solids to a group at first so that it will be easier to select these solids later. Ok, these solids are now in the folder, so I select the cylinder here, then with the control key, I select the group of elements. I press the Q key on the keyboard, and here we have the difference operation. I click OK, and in this way, we created concave letters in this cylinder. During the preparation for recording this video, I couldn't perform the subtraction of the letters from the cylinder because parts of the letters were completely hidden inside the cylinder, and in some places, the surface of the cylinder protruded above the letters. This caused errors in the operation of subtracting one solid from another, and to deal with such a situation, we can approach it in such a way that I will project these letters onto this cylinder again. I choose the deform operation, select the reference plane, and the plane onto which I am projecting. Here I will move it closer to the lower edge of the cylinder. Ok, I select the normal option. And just during the preparation for recording, there was such a situation. Here it may be visible. As in this place, the letter sticks out a bit and that is correct. In that case, the outer face of the cylinder was slightly above the outer face of the letter, causing errors in the operation of subtracting one solid from another. And here we have the offset parameter, which will help us deal with this type of situation. If we slightly change the value of this offset in this box, I will just check if it should be positive or negative. For now, I will enter 0 0.001, Ok, the solids were shifted to the inside. Now I will enter minus 0 0.001 here and the solids have been slightly pushed outwards. We can decrease this value a bit. We can also enter one more zero. Ok, and now the outer faces of the letters slightly protrude beyond the surface of the cylinder. In such a case, there will no longer be any issues subtracting the letter solids from the cylinder solid. I also click here on Keep Tools and click OK to leave it this way. Now I will create a folder based on these elements and subtract these solids from this solid. I select these elements, first the cylinder, then the letters, press the Q key, and here I choose the difference operation and click OK. In this example, at the beginning, we managed to cut the letters from the cylinder without any problems. However, as I mentioned, during the preparation for this lesson, in one case, I had a situation where I couldn't apply the subtraction operation of one solid from another, because the outer face of the cylinder was slightly above the outer face of the letters in some places, which caused errors in the operation of subtracting one solid from another. But by applying the offset in this way, we can deal with it. And ok, in this way, we can project solids onto surfaces. I will show you one more example here. I select all the solids. Choose the deform operation, select the neutral plane, and select the plane of the cylinder. And here I choose the UV option. And now these letters have been projected this way. Here I will also add the offset of these letters. Ok, not in this axis. Here I will enter 0 0.5. Okay, maybe 0 0.9. Okay, I will increase this value to 1.1, 1.2, and I also tick Keep Tools to keep the source solids. By choosing the UV option, we can project solids in this way. Without the UV option checked, the solids are projected this way, and with the UV option checked, the solids are projected this way. We simply change the direction of projection of these solids. And by selecting the normal option, we can position these solids inside this cylinder. I click OK, and in this way, that's how the deform operation works. 
and in many cases this can be a very useful operation. I will show you more examples. Now I will create a sphere. OK, and I select the letters, choose the deform operation, select the neutral surface and select the sphere. I check Keep Tools. OK, and in this way we have projected these solids onto the sphere. Of course, I am showing this using letters as an example, but they can be any solids. You can create any shapes here and you can project these shapes onto various surfaces. We can also create such a surface ourselves. I will draw a regular line. OK, now the line is selected, I choose the Rise Degree command. We can activate this command by pressing the shortcut Shift plus S and such division points will be created. I press Shift plus S again, Shift plus S to create a few more of these points. Here I have points selection active, I select these two points and I choose the G command and I will move these points a bit so that I can turn this line into a curve. OK, and now based on this line I will create a surface. I select this line. I press the E key on the keyboard to activate the extrude command and add the extrusion and I accept this with the right mouse button. Now I switch to solid selection, select these solids, choose the deform command, select the neutral surface and the surface onto which I will project these solids. I check the Keep Tools option and click OK. As you can see, we can project solids onto other surfaces in a very easy way. And as I mentioned, this can be other solids, they don't have to be letters. We can create different shapes here. Now I select these two solids choose the deform command, select the neutral surface and select the surface onto which I will project. So as you can see this operation can have many interesting applications and can greatly facilitate the creation of interesting looking 3D models. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.